Have you ever felt like life has no purpose? Like you're stuck in a rat race doing the same thing again and again and again and again, hoping that something changes. Well, that's me right now. Life has had me feeling off my normal self and today I'll be sharing five points that help me get out of this funk and get back to my productive, creative and inspired self. Hopefully in me sharing this, you can find something meaningful to take away and implement it in your life if you like. Point one, structure your time and day. Sometimes we have a lot on our plates and this can definitely affect how we tackle the day because we don't know where to start. Completing tasks for me gets me excited to complete the next one. And the only way to get this started is by figuring out which task is the easiest to complete first. In order to know how to tackle the day, we have to weigh the importance of the task and how quickly it can be done. For example, waking up in the morning and making the bed is the easiest task to get this rolling. Point two, go to gym or for a jog or if you like a hike. Being locked in the same place for too long can make you start to feel like you are boxed in or claustrophobic. Doing a little bit of exercise. Okay, honestly, this isn't how I work out. But you get the point. Leaving the house for a hike can really get the blood flowing to the head. Point three, self-care. Take some time off for yourself. Get your nails done. But I'm broke. Okay, well, cut your own nails then. Okay. Buff them yourself. All right. Once you're done, explore new avenues. For me, I like to learn a new skill to help me develop my skills in filmmaking. Even if it's five minutes of my time. But after that, I make sure I try to implement whatever I just learned. Point four, talk to someone. Surround yourself with positive energy. Be open amongst those you trust. This can help you get it out of your system. And who knows, maybe someone has a solution to your problem. You're most likely not the first person to experience what you're going through. And lastly, it's okay to feel. Just try not to let it drag on for too long because, well, life isn't waiting for you. So I have to keep it moving.